going in. We're going, We're going in. in. <laughs> Touchdown declared. A major success for a mission years in the making. The spacecraft, dubbed Osiris Rex, is about the size of a van. It's been circling the asteroid since 2018, getting ready to make its precarious landing. Oh my gosh, um, <laughs> we're there folks, that was amazing. I mean, I don't know if you saw the team here, but they just kind of blew up. They went from being steely eyed to like celebrating the Super Bowl. It's a pretty amazing technological feat. And, and all of this was done by this probe by itself. You know, it's, too, it's, it's far too far away to, to be controlled in, in sort of real time by its handlers here on Earth. Osiris Rex chose a flat spot in Nightingale Crater to touch down, surrounded by boulders as big as buildings. NASA says the craft kissed the surface, landing for just five seconds, enough to send up a cloud of dust and rocks, collecting samples scientists hope will unlock the secrets of life on Earth. The spacecraft did everything it was supposed to do, uh, so we did it. We tagged the surface of the asteroid, and it's up to Bennu now to see how the event went. Asteroids like Bennu date back about 4.5 billion years, so scientists say collecting the samples is like reaching back in time. Asteroids are, are terrific and they're one of the best ways that we have of learning about the very early history of the solar system before the formation of the Earth and Moon. Um, because after the Earth and Moon formed, um, all of the rocks that went into them have been recycled. Japan's space agency landed a similar craft on another asteroid twice last year. Its samples due back in December. Oh my God. Ah. The team at NASA has to wait to find out if Osiris Rex picked up enough rubble to bring back to Earth, or it'll have another shot at a landing. It seems like things went pretty well today, so we kind of have our fingers crossed that it worked. And if, if they determine that they got enough, then this stuff will be coming back down to Earth, hopefully in September 2023, and scientists will be able to get their hands on it. Then. All right. These scientists clearly happy with progress and yet to come back down to Earth themselves. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.